Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Take. And today in this video, I'm gonna flash the Resurrection Remix ROM, which is based on Android Nougat. Right now, I'm using Pixel UI, as you can see, based on Android 7.111. I'm gonna miss this ROM because this is one of the best ROM that I have used, and this is the most fluid ROM that I have ever used, except the battery life. The battery life is poor in this Pixel UI ROM. So today, I'm gonna flash the Resurrection Remix ROM. So let's get started so as you can see in the in the internal storage i put the two files one is the rom file as you can see rrn version 5.8 and another one is devil aosp uh, hotspot fix actually i'm not going to flash this hotspot file because uh, hotspot is not a deal breaker for me and uh, actually i don't need the hotspot that's the real truth so let's reboot to the recovery you can also power off your device and by pressing the volume uh, volume down and the power key together you can also enable the you can also open the twrp recovery or any kind of custom recovery i recommend twrp recovery because this recovery is the best recovery that you can get for a smartphone devices okay so as you can see i put it to the twrp recovery and this is one of the latest version so if your twrp recovery is not uh, new then kindly uh, follow a video uh, link is in the description below and flash the latest version of twrp recovery so first of all what you have to do you have to go to the wipe section and take mark the dalvi cache cache and data and swipe to wipe it okay So it's wiping okay the wiping is completed now let's just go back go back to the install section here is the install section i put the file in the internal storage let me select the internal storage and as you can see the internal storage okay and let's go to the below and here is the rom file as you can see rr in version 5.8 so i'm going to flash the rom version first and just swipe to flash it so it's flashing it may take 5 to 10 minutes to flash the rom so you should have to be patient for this and i'm going to skip this video to save your time and guys i would like to say you do not need to flash the g apps or google apps uh, in this room because uh, those are inbuilt in it so you do not need to flash the g apps so that's a good thing okay guys the flashing process is completed now you can see that now what you have to do just wipe the wipe cache and i'll be cache okay and just reboot system or if you want to flash the hotspot fix you can flash it but i do not need that that's why i'm going to reboot my device okay if hotspot use your main priority then flash that hotspot fix i'm going to flash it later on if i need it so let's reboot the device okay so it's booting up as you can see let's see if it breaked or not so the resurrection remix logo that's cool again rebooted okay okay now it's booting up as you can see so for the first boot it may take 5 to 10 minutes so you should have to be patient for this i'm going to skip this video to save your time so as you can see it boots up uh, there is nothing to worry about it may take 5 to 10 minutes so yeah this is uh, in different language let me select the language and i don't know what it's saying okay here is a english india and there are so many other languages as you can see marathi or something like that okay uh, let me select the english india and do the first setup
okay there are two launchers and the second one i think is the cyanogen launcher let's check if it is cool or not so you will get this type of launcher okay so i'm going to change it i'm not liking it that much compared to pixel launcher so here is a pixel launcher as you can see it looks like the pixel ui so let me go to the settings guys and let me connect the wi-fi and as you can see wi-fi is working fine there is no issue guys let me go to the about device as you can see it's a resurrection remix room and guys the resurrection remix roams are really good uh, i have a good experience using resurrection remix roam thanks to the developers those who build this kind of awesome roam so it's in different kernel so i i have to check the frequency the previous pixel ui and all the usb versions are clocked at 2 gigahertz that is unnecessary you do not need that 1.7 gigahertz is more than enough and let's check what's the uh, maximum frequency here so that it can save a lot more battery so let me go to the cpu option and yeah yeah it's uh, running on 1.7 gigahertz as a default speed so that's uh, good to see that there is no kind of no overclocking that means uh, the battery saving will be very good the battery life will be good here and as you can see on the memory management the free memory is about 876 megabytes and let's check how is the memory management i have to test it more stay tuned for the full review and internal storage is working pretty fine and here is a configuration option you can see there are so many customizations oh my god there are so many customizations okay okay i haven't seen this kind of uh, customization uh, ever guys this is good animations okay 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 that's pretty cool i have to test it more and i will come back with a full review of it stay tuned with me by subscribing to my channel and guys let's check if camera is working or not okay allow the access okay i think it will be good so yeah a camera is working touch to focus is working ah uh, yeah autofocus is working that's fine so now complain regarding the autofocus you can see the autofocus is working pretty fine okay and let's check the video if video works okay it closed the app okay let's reopen the app okay and yeah this time it works okay let me record okay okay it says unsupported video resolution for this encoder type okay you uh, i think you should have uh, some kind of problem like this uh, with using the default camera app uh, just go for the third party app that is pre-installed here so let's go for this footage camera let's open it okay allow the access here and here camera is working focus is working pretty fine let's go to the video section and yeah record a video and yeah it has started recording the video and uh, let's see so it's recording pretty fine and let's see if audio is recorded or not okay let's play it okay mx pro is installed here that's kind of good thing okay okay let's play it okay play it okay guys the video is working and the sound sound is working pretty fine that means the audio and the video is uh, encoding very well so there is no issues regarding video recording as well as audio recording so that's pretty cool so guys that's pretty much for this flashing video as well as a quick information video for this resurrection remix room which is based on android version 7.1.1 uh, initially i'm really impressed with this room let's see how it goes so i'll be coming with another video with a full review what kind of question do you have post it in the comments below i will answer all of those questions in the next video so yep thank you guys thank you guys for watching and i will catch you in the next video